who played at Kansas, also part of the U.S. Def National Team that's won a bunch of World Cups. Nobody can touch that team. Far post, still on it. And Catherine Hess does enough to keep this one at zeros. Hess will drop it out. Well over double that. Wrexham wide open. And another great save from Catherine Hess. 1v1, you almost have to finish that and Hess. Here's Randall, was at Southern Cal from 2012 to 2017. And while she was overcoming multiple knee surgery, she was part of Kadani McAlpine's national championship team and has worked her way back. Kadani, McMal Kadani McAlpine, who's now at Georgia, said that she is one of the most impressive women when it comes to mentality. The Burnley Courage game was end to end. I mean, just action packed. Another opportunity to post as Hess had two saves and also had the post. They wanted a handball, doesn't get it. Wrexham deflected. Transition needs to be on Angel City. Right now it's two versus four. So a shot from long distance says really didn't have a choice that time. Sammy Scafidi. Former midfielder from St. John's had to let it go. 34 shutouts, 552 saves, but 34 shutouts, fourth all time. Casey Murphy, the career leader at Rutgers. Wrexham, another chance in, another save from Hess. Hess, another save. Hess is just absolutely standing on her head. Great opportunity to score for Wrexham. Tremendous work by our production crew. Haley and the gang, this shot from distance, and guess what? Another one parried away by Catherine Hess, who's kind of stealing the show here. It's like a walking Hall of Fame as they come in, watching the coaches. Oh, no, somehow that one doesn't go in. Well, she got a post, then she got a crossbar and a post. On the same play, Telfer's out of the goal, there it is! You love it when they know that it's open, Mar who we spotlighted in the open, saw Telford off her line. Telford backtracked, he knew she was in trouble. Watch this, on the defense, Lee knows Telford's out. And comes Angel City. Wow, that one almost snuck through right there by Shea Moyer. NCAA. Field and the women's NCAA field. Both champions were crowned here. This place is special. This is a great chance for Rexon. They send it across, and then there's the sitter as Megan McCaslin finds Maggie Lena. Oh, my bad. Lindsay Agnew finds Rosie Hughes, who at one time was the Golden Boot winner in the Welsh League. There's Lindsay Agnew right back to Rosie Hughes. Rosie Hughes got it to. That was Madison Wolfbauer, the player I was talking about for the North Carolina Courage. Here's a shot handled by Hess. We had been calling it Pat McAfee Stadium as the McAfee Show was here for a while. Sent in and Angel City just missing. Good opportunity for Sammy Scafidi of the Seattle Reign and coached her at Washington. Oh my, it's a finish there. It wasn't Shannon Simon who took it. It was a brilliant goal and finished by Shea Moyer. Didn't start. Moyer keeps it down. And final seconds counting down. Pass stays put. And then a little miscommunication. And that is going to be it. So Angel City FC had a 1-0 lead at the half. Very effective. Remember when Mariah Lee got that incredible goal to get things started from beyond midfield. On to 6v6. 
Canales to try to win it. Nope, gives it up. And there's the winner, Jessica Micklack. The game winner in Angel City with a 3-1 win over Wrexham. Three kicks have been amazing. A little fake right there as they drop it over to Jessica McClatt, the midfielder from UC Irvine. 28 caps for the Philippines. A brilliantly placed pass from Canales.